that the Rams were able to win all of this and put all of that together and do it right there on their home field. Do you think the hometown crowd, I mean, there's not supposed to be a hometown crowd in the Super Bowl, but it felt like there was. Did that make a difference, you think? <laughs> You know, I'm not sure that it made a difference because I got to be honest with you, Wayne, where we were sitting in media, there were so many Bengals fans right next to us. Who Day Nation showed up. And when those chants started going off, the whole section of the stadium was rocking. And so shout out to the Bengals fans who either made the trip to California or drove in, whatever it was, because they absolutely had a presence. But then in the second half, as the Rams started to come back and build momentum, you could absolutely hear so many Rams fans in the house and my goodness it has been a party outside SoFi Stadium ever since it just calmed down not that long ago but not before a few fans actually did a literal victory lap in the lake behind me <laughs> after the Rams won this game so certainly Los Angeles doing a great job of building the kind of fans that franchises dream of uh, any inside information on that halftime show did you, did you happen to catch that Of course I did, because there were so many jerseys, right? The Super Bowl is so interesting. There are, play, there are fans who are rooting for both for either team. But then I also saw like a Cam Newton Auburn jersey. I saw a few Pro Bowl jerseys here and there. So everybody's rooting for a different team when they walk into SoFi Stadium. But my goodness, the 70,000 plus of us were all rooting for the exact same team in that halftime show. Brought the house down. It was so much fun. Mary J. Blige, Eminem, Dr. Drew. I mean, it just really captured, I'm a Southern California native, it really captured the essence of Los Angeles, the essence of Southern California. And I thought it put this, I, it put Los Angeles in, in just a great light in terms of the entertainment capital of the world. They certainly had us all entertained, and I wouldn't have been mad if they'd extended the halftime another half hour. Well, and speaking of entertaining, I just want to thank you and the crew down there, AJ, for some really entertaining reporting over the past uh, week. So safe travels coming home.